host Ricky Lake gave birth in a bathtub. That and much more on the 5.30 show. Hello and welcome to Tuesday's 5.30 show. You're back. Yep, survived my trip to London. London Village. London Village. Not through Terminal 5, I take it. No, that's why I'm here. Yeah, <laughs> you wouldn't be here otherwise, <laughs> would you? How was Darius? He was great, very tall. Mm. Yep. Um, and very nice. Yes. Lovely chap, yes. Little moustache thing going on. A creepy little moustache. that real? Which is for the piece. It is real, yes. Okay. I think he rather likes it. You should maybe get one. Did, did he kiss? We'll see this later in the week. Can't wait. Uh, coming up on tonight's programme, though, win a glamorous weekend at the Scottish Grand National. Not on the lips, though. Also on the show, recycling journey. Where do our old bottles and plastic end up? And the Scottish singer being tipped as the new Katie Tunstall. All right, first tonight. Is childbirth dictated by cash flow? Former US talk show host Ricky Lake is challenging the American maternity care system in a new documentary film, The Business of Being Born. The film encourages women to treat childbirth as a personal experience rather than a condition for doctors to deal with. To illustrate what's described as the over-medicalisation of maternity care, the film shows Ricky giving birth in her bath at home. Hospitals are businesses. They want those beds filled and emptied. They don't want women hanging around in the labour room. Maternity care in the United States is in crisis. People don't have the information. Medical decisions are being made for monetary and legal reasons, not because they're good for the mother and the baby. This is Pitocin, which is the medication given through the IV that causes contractions. Just check that she's on pit. Just make sure that yeah. she's on pit. I asked to keep upping the pit. And if you're uncomfortable, we can always give you more. Is this an improvement or are we making things worse? How often do you get to see a fully natural birth? Rarely. Almost never. <laughs> well, with us now in the studio is Jane Heron from Birth Choices, a website which gives women information about childbirth. She organises a special screening of Ricky's film in Glasgow, which is tomorrow night. Alongside her is Cassie McNamara, who's a midwife from the air. Jane, to you, first of all, your first child was born in hospital. Your second <coughs> child was born at home. Why are you campaigning for more women to have more choice about where they give birth? Um, well, basically, the business of being born, which, as you've just said, we're screening tomorrow night, um, does show that uh, the over, over medicalization of childbirth is actually not um, beneficial to mothers and babies. What do you mean by over medicalization? Um, what we're talking about is increasing intervention rates, so things like induction, um, uh, augmentation of birth, uh, cesarean section rates, which is actually on the increase, and, and every year keeps rising. Um, for example, the UK national cesarean rate at the moment is 25%. Um, in 1980, that was only 9%. So in less than 30 years, that's gone up considerably. Th those are high figures, and there are a lot of C-sections here in Scotland, Glasgow in particular. Cassie, why is that? I mean, I think the whole of the UK, there is an increase in cesarean section rates. There are a number of reasons for that. However, the World Health Organization say that a section rate in any developed country of over 10 to 15% doesn't improve outcomes, it doesn't improve mortality rates or long-term problems. But there are often good medical reasons for women of having C-sections. Of course, and it's fantastic we live in a country where the women that do genuinely need them have access to really good care. Our concern is that there are a large proportion of women who are having caesarean sections that aren't necessary or having intervention that's not necessary. Is this too posh to push phenomenon that we hear I about sometimes? I, I personally don't believe in any kind of victim blaming. I don't believe in women being blamed for over medicalisation. I think it's a societal thing. I think it's a, a I think problem it's within the services. <coughs> I think it's the, the nature of childbirth. Um, really, hospitals are set up to um, process um, their patients coming in, giving birth and going out the other end, whereas birth I believe is, is a, has a lot more variables to it. For example, one woman might give birth in just an hour, whereas another woman might take 24 hours. Unfortunately, host, the way hospitals are set up, um, they can't deal with that level of variables, so they have to um, put in place certain systems in order to and intervene in, in perfectly normal births in order to get people in the system processed and out the other end. So what's the main message of this film then? 
Gosh, there's about 100. <laughs> <laughs> I think the main message is, is um, that it's uh, through what we do in the website is actually give women to um, access to research-based information about their care um, in order that they can go on to make better informed choices about their care. It's about giving birth back to women and giving them autonomy over their births as opposed to being fed into a system and processed and out the other end. So something like home births is a lovely idea, but it's very daunting, especially maybe to first-time mothers. What do you say about that? I think it's, there is a general misconception that home births are more dangerous than hospital births. The research doesn't back that up and never has done. Um, I think that a lot of first-time mothers are put off because we have fostered this idea that hospitals are safest, hospitals are best, and that you need to be supervised and managed in labour. And that birth is dangerous, which which you know it isn't necessarily I mean, obviously there are always going to be a, a small percentage of births that require intervention and medical help but the majority of births that is probably around 80 percent could actually take place completely um, unhindered if the women were just left to get on with we it. We have to leave it there. The film screened in Glasgow tomorrow night. More That's information right. on the website. Thanks. Thank, Thank you for joining us. Thank you. Thanks. Well now time for a quick look.